All day we've been working with those showers on and off and though we need the rain, some of us haven't quite picked it up. Now as we look at current radar, you're going to see it's very much scattered, but as we have this rainfall, it's pushing through southeast Michigan and just around the metro and it looks like it just kind of fades off. I anticipate that we are still seeing some rainfall through southern Wood County and even through Hancock and Putnam County just because our radar can't quite get that low level cloud cover and that's exactly what's bringing in the rain showers for us. So continue to plan on seeing these few showers as we go into your Friday evening. As far as that bonfire, probably going to be a little bit tricky because we are still going to see the system swirling around Lake Erie and that's what's throwing in the rainfall towards our north and kind of spinning back down into northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. But we are going to start to see this slowly exit and even by midnight, that's when we'll start to dry out the forecast. But because of the rain, we didn't have much sun and that means we also don't have a lot of heat today. We're currently at 70 degrees in Toledo, 71 in Adrian and 72 in Ottawa and Bryan. We have 70 degrees in Fremont and even popping a couple of upper 60s from Sandusky to Oak Harbor and all the way over to Napoleon as well. So we're still going to kind of have that damp and kind of cooler feeling a little bit more refreshing for your Friday night. Now for the weekend, we're bringing more heat back. Very seasonal with mid 80s by Saturday. We'll have partly sunny skies and many of us will have dry weather. Just an isolated shower at best. Sunday is going to be the stormy day for us. We're actually going to start with some sun, a few clouds, and that's going to kind of build a hot and humid environment for us. High is going to be in the 90s and that's going to allow for the potential for some showers and even thunderstorms for Sunday evening. That's why we have that alert day for Sunday. It's going to be into the evening around four or five o'clock and after that we do have that chance for those stronger storms and really damaging winds are going to be the main threat that we see within these storms. We'll have the energy for these for those storms on Sunday building towards our west, but you can see kind of that energy with the yellow and the orange there as that builds. It moves in as we go into to that dinner time hour. So that's going to fuel this line of storms, though it is a little bit broken. So we are going to be watching to see how well this line holds together. But either way, with it kind of having this bow structure, it is going to have those stronger winds within them that will push through. And then once we get into your Sunday evening around 10, 11, even towards midnight, then that severe threat will be over. As far as the scattered storms now, you're going to find that just those few raindrops do evaporate. So as we go into tomorrow morning, we will start out the weekend with partly cloudy skies, just that isolated shower chance. But for your Saturday plans, you'll be just fine. Of course, Sunday have the WTO Wall 11 weather app as we're going to have updates for you there. Even rain chances though continue for your Monday and Tuesday, keeping things on the cooler side mid 70s until we have those 80s for late next week. We'll watch for some rain chances as we go into your Friday. But overall, we at least get back to some more seasonal weather. Of course, though, we're going to be keeping an eye on Sunday with that alert day. Yeah, this was not an alert day as of yesterday. What's changed in that we're learning more about the what all could be coming that day. So now just something to keep an eye on. Yes, we've been kind of eyeing the ingredients and the environment looks to be a little more soupy with the humidity, a little more energy. So we're going to see all of these things coming together. So we want to make sure everybody's aware and also getting that first notice here from WTOL 11. Good